need to have a lot of cross collaborations. You need to have a lot of uh, younger artists who are coming with a different market, mixing them with older guys like me who have an older market and a different type of stand. You need to have a lot of that, you know. Ricky Rick was an award winning South African rapper who was also a music producer, entrepreneur, and fashion designer. Ricky was a trailblazer who set the country on fire. He was a genius, a pioneer, and a visionary. Creating new movements, taking risks, trying new things that were never done before, and always championing the youth in South Africa. Ricky is one of the most iconic media personalities in South Africa, and in this video, we are going to look into why is that. Let's just first have a look at some of Ricky's social media pages, just to see what he's about. On YouTube, Ricky has many social media profiles, including this one, which I think is his main one. On this page, he has about 48,000 subscribers, and he has posted a couple of his music videos. On Instagram, Ricky is verified. He has 1.2 million followers and has posted over 1,170 times. On his Instagram, he posts a lot of the work he has done, the brands that he works with, the music that he puts out, his personal life, Cotton Fest, the people that he works with, and so much more. On Twitter, Ricky is verified, and he has over 1.5 million followers. Aight, for those of you guys looking for Facebook, aight, anyone using Facebook in this day and age for anything other than business? Uh-uh, nice nice time, please. Nice nice shit, dog. It's going down. But uh, as, 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 as long as I've left something that people can build on, even if they forget, you can forget me, dog. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, not important, but there must be something that we have created or that we have built that someone else can run with. Ricky Rick is one of the biggest rappers South Africa has ever seen. Ricky has had a fruitful and illustrious rap career. He released his first single, Barbershop, featuring the Les in 2008, kicking off his music career, and over the years has produced hit singles such as Nafukwa, Amonto Mazani remix featuring DJ Dimples, Questa, Kid X, Nare Nakai, OK Malum Cool Cats, and so forth. Ozonke, Silikotin, Ngaznishi, I Can't Believe It, You and I, Pick You Up featuring A Reese, Fusek featuring Casper Newvest and Anati, Murder featuring Davido and Gemini Major, and Stay Shining. He also featured in many other hit songs, such as Frank Casino's Whole Thing remix, Ntande by Mass Music, Free by AKA featuring DJ Tira, VSOP by Jazik, Lempita by Casper Nyovest, Imali Nengi by Big Zulu, and many more hit singles. His career has spanned over a decade, working with some of the biggest and best artists Mzanti in Africa has to offer, which is a testament to his longevity and high quality of work he produces. Ricky was unique in the fact that he was the only artist who never needed to produce a body of work or a lot of music to stay relevant. He is famously known for dropping a summer banger single that the streets will play all summer, and for the rest of the year he features on Smash singles. He is also an award-winning artist, winning many awards over the years, such as Video of the Year at the MTV Africa Music Awards in 2015 and MVP Hustler of the Year at South African Hip Hop Music Awards in 2021. He has a record label, Cotton Fest Records, and he has founded one of the biggest annual hip hop and fashion events in the country, Cotton Fest, where music and fashion meet and is celebrated. Ricky's impact as a musician cannot be quantified in the streets. Even to this day, his music is played in the streets and a groove. It genuinely feels like something is missing, 
ever since he left us. Yo, you know this little nigga? Nah, I don't. Yo, you need to give this little nigga a job. He's the youngest motherfucker doing, uh, um, he's, he's the youngest nigga doing on the radio. He's on Alex right now, right? No, I'm at Hilbert Radio. Which My one? name is Gabella. Hilbert Radio. Yeah, he's the youngest uh, radio host in South Africa right now. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you must give, what's, what's give him name? a job. Yeah. yeah. Quick. Ricky Rick champions the youth. Being the trendsetter and the visionary that he is, Ricky would always look to the youth, not only for inspiration, but he would protect and champion the youth, in some instances being the voice of the youth. Ricky will work with up-and-coming young rappers, DJs, and media personalities if he feels there is potential for them to be big. He worked with major league DJs earlier on in their careers, on multiple records before they transitioned into being Amapiano DJs. He worked with Frank Casino when Frank was a relatively unknown rapper at the time on what would be the smash hit Whole Thing remix. He also worked with Costa Teach while Costa was still on the come up, producing the smash single on Galagat, where he promoted that song daily on his social media pages. He discovered Uncle Vinny and started taking him around everywhere he went, pushing him as the next big thing to everybody who asked about Vinny. Casper recently came out and said, the same way Ricky Rick reached out to all the kids, at one point, I was also just another kid from Mouth Town, and it wasn't really easy to move in Johannesburg, but he still had the time for me and he did that for hundreds of people after me. Ricky has put on so many people which have gone on and are still building big careers in the industry. His impact on the youth is also something that cannot be quantified, but also something that cannot be overstated enough. The streets will never forget Ricky, and if you take a walk around the streets of Bramfontein, you will see and feel his impact and legacy. Mafana, <laughs> balana my notes, balana my notes, since I'm a correction, man. Yeah, one night. Keep on my camera, ning shoot. Shoot, shoot. Ning shoot, if I fail to please. Ning I coach the combo. Uh huh. But you start on. It's not a flush on this one. I'll do any flush on, but I fail to do any Jonathan D. Lena. Serious business. Uh huh. Ning shoot a buffet. Since I'm a correction. Ricky has a larger than life persona. Ricky has transcended his music career. He is not just known as Ricky the musician, but he is also known as Ricky the family man, Ricky the entrepreneur, Ricky the brand ambassador, and Ricky the freshest man ever. Ricky had a larger than life personality. He brought love and good vibes wherever he went. He made everyone around him feel good and cool, and you couldn't help it but to love the guy. Ricky is the coolest guy ever, and he makes sure to be the freshest and best dressed person in any room he steps into. Even through death, he speaks to us through his music and the legacy he has left behind. Rest in peace, Ricky Rick. Ricky Rick is so iconic because he is one of the biggest and best hip-hop artists South Africa has ever seen. He is a fashion icon, a trendsetter, and a visionary. Ricky champions the youth and he has put on so many young talents into the industry. And he is larger than life, as his legacy has transcended his music career and his life. Yo, I'm here representing hip-hop. No matter what you guys are doing, I'm here representing hip-hop. That's got to be a sign for us down here. And it's got to be a sign for us locally to understand the power that we have and influence that we have. And don't just look at it as we're following trends, no. We're actually setting the trends. And the trends are not just something that's gonna come in and out in a week or two. These are trends that are gonna live in people's minds forever. That's it from me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please just leave a like and comment down below who else would you like me to cover. Other than that, I'm out.